Hello guys, welcome back to another part. In part 1, we took example of Boeing 777 where we were on our 3 door equipment backup battery unit. We saw how to find part numbers of different contacts, connectors, back shell, wire number, part number of the wire and its installation procedure. Check out the link in description. In this part 2, we will take up another examples such as shielded wire, different splices, multi-core wire, grounding block, grounding wire and we will see how to find part number of each of them and also its installation procedure from different aircraft manuals. Now in this example, we will take up number 10, contact number 10 which is having 1003. Uh, it is different from the previous wire, we will get into that detail. It is going to this SM4, we will find out what is SM4. This will be our first example. Second example will be this wire which is 2002 blue and red, okay. And the third example will consist of this wire, the shielding is uh, grounded on this GB. We will see what is this GB and how to find part number of this, okay. So let's go on example number 1 first. So we have taken this contact 10. Now you can see the wire, the wire number is 1003-18. You can see this circle, this circle means it is shielded, okay. And the shield is going nowhere, they have not shown anything like this. It is going to the ground. So how I got this, how we understand that it is shielded, we will just go in our... Uh, in our wiring diagram, general, okay. So in this general, they have given us all the schematic symbols. So if you go over here, you can see the shielded wire. The single wire will not have any circle around, but the shielded wire is having circle around it. The wire is circle. And if it is twisted pair, there will be a figure of 8, okay. You can see the figure of 8. But right now, we are having only circle and it is not grounded at all. You, you can see over here, see, this shield is grounded, okay. This shield is on the back shell. Here you can see it is on strain relief cramp. It is on back shell. Okay. So right now we are just having this. The, sh the wire is shielded. And uh, what to do of the shield? We will get into that uh, later on. So we understand it is shielded. Now it is going to this SM4. What is this SM4? It is a splice. Okay. The splice is normally SP. So where we will get this definition? We will get definition again. We have to go in our wiring diagram. And uh, we'll just go in front matter, we'll search for our SM and SP. So we'll search for SM. So you can see over here, SM means splice within a bundle, okay. All the wire will be having of same bundle. And SP means splice between the bundle, means the splice will be having wire of different bundle. If we search more, it will give us more detail. So you can see over here, this the front matter is uh, explaining properly. The SP are used when connecting wires from other wire bundles, okay. And the splice list will be containing all the SP, the item number of the SP. But for SM, it is not listed. It is not listed in this uh, splice list. We will see what is the splice list. We can just uh, go in our wiring manual again. And here is our splice list. Okay. So the splice list will be having all the wire which is spliced together in that specific uh, uh, splice item number. See this? SP001531514. Okay, so right now what we have, uh, we have this SM. So as per uh, the definition, the SM is not listed. The SM is not listed in the splice list. If we have, if we have SP, it is listed, uh, listed in our uh, splice list. So we already saw the item number contains 5 digits. So we have to write SM00004. Okay, now we will open the wire list so then we can get more detail to find the part number of each item. We will see how to find part number of this wire. We will see what to do of this shield at the end. We will see how to find part number of this SM4 because this is different than finding the part number of the contacts. So first let us open the wire list. We will just go in our wire list. And we saw in our previous video how we have to find. We have to find as per the bundle number. So we'll write down bundle number, we will search. So the wireless is giving as per the bundle number and we will search for our particular wire. In our case, it is 1003. So you can see over here 1003, okay. So you can see 1003, it is gauge 18 wire. The wire type is RO, R0, okay. This is the wire uh, type R0, which will be, this is the port which we'll be searching for finding the part number of the wire as we saw in our part one video. Now AC, this is the family of the wire means uh, all the conductors shielding it will be having AC you can see we'll get to it later on this is the measurement of the wire the length of the wire the chapter now this is coming from 5 to 1 to 3 the contact is 10 and see you can see over here the 5 digit item number SM00004 okay now the important thing is this number 9 what is this number 9 number 9 is the type so as we saw the type of the wire we also got the type of the Splice. So we'll write down this in our template sheet what we saw in our previous video 
and I want to show you one more thing over here which is Z. Now what is this Z? 1003Z. So you can see in our diagram the Z is the shielding. Okay. From where we got this definition we will again go back in our flood matter. And then we will search for word Z. Okay. So here is our Z. This is the wire color codes. So we are having 1003Z. This Z means it is shield. Okay. So we'll go in our wire list again. So this 1003Z means it is shielding. Now they have given us the specification, the detail of the shielding, what we have to do. So you, you can see over here, this AC is the family. That means this shield belong to this wire, which is RO. Okay. This, it will always show you 00 because it is the main the length of the wire is on 1003. The chapter is same. Now the shield on SM004, it will be DED. What is this DED? It is dead end. Okay. And on DM52123, again, it is DED. D is D is dead end. Where we got information, we'll again go back to our front matter. We'll just search for DED. So here is this DED is dead ended shield. Okay. That means the shield is not connected anywhere. It is just dead end. So we will see how to find procedure for uh, doing this uh, dead end shield. How, how to make that and uh, what we have to use, what type of heat shrink we have to use and uh, the size and all. Okay. We'll see the chapter, the SWPM. So we'll get back to our diagram. This is our diagram and this is our wire list. All the details we'll write down in our template what we did in our part one. This is our template which we were using in our part one. So let me just fill it uh, whatever details we have got till now. I have written all the details what we found till now. So we have seen how to find part number of connector for the back shell for the context. So you can refer to part one. We have also seen how to find part number for the wire. Uh, you can refer part one. Now we are interested in finding the part number of the splice, this DED, the dead end shield. And uh, I want to show the type code for this wire. Let us concentrate on our wire first. So our wire code is RO. Okay. So I will write down over here RO. Our type code is RO. So as for the part one, we, I will just quickly show you the part number for this wire type code RO. We will go in SWPM. Okay. This is uh, our SWPM. And we will go in chapter 200013. We already saw in our part one, this is wire type code. Okay. General data wire type code. We will go in wire type codes. We will search for our type code, which is R0. Okay. So this is our R0, the type code, which is used in Boeing 777. This is our part number. It is a partial part number for full part number. We saw in part one, how to make the full part number. I just wanted to show you this. It is shielded with one wire, one core of wire. Okay. So you can refer to part one for finding the whole part number to making the part number for this wire. Now it is shielded and it is DED. Now how to find uh, how to find the procedure and the part number for uh, doing this shielding? How to protect it, the shielding? Because it is not connected anywhere. So for this, uh, we have to re refer our SWPM again. This is our SWPM and uh, we will go in chapter 20-10 which is wire installation. Okay, the wire installation and repair. In this, we will go in sub sub chapter 15, which is assembly of shield ground wires. You can see over here 20, 10, 15. Okay, so let me just write down quickly over here 20, 10, 15, 20, 10, 15. We have to go in this SWPM chapter for installation of the shielding. So you can see over here assembly of shield ground, you will come down till this dead end. You can see assembly of shield dead end. This is specifically what we are searching for. And there are three different uh, conditions, folded back, not folded back, adjacent. So uh, you can get all the detail in this uh, chapter. You can see assembly of shield dead end. It will give each and every detail what material we have to use uh, or heat shrink we have to use, how much it should be the length and everything. See, you can see over here. So we can refer this chapter for this dead end. Now we will go to our SM00004. Now if you... So in our wireless, the type was 9. Okay. So let me just quickly write down type code is number 9. Now what is this number 9? We have to go in front matter of our wiring diagram. This the wiring diagram manual will go. We have to open the front matter. In this, you can see over here the codes. We we'll click on this code. And we will search for our number 9. So you can see over here in number code, we are searching for this number nine. So let me just zoom it in. Okay. So what is this? It is splice moisture seal. So it will, we will just write it splice moisture seal. 
and you can see the part number over here they have given many part numbers so let me just quickly write down data 436-36-37384041 so now they are giving us here different part number not specifically for our wire uh, you can see the diagram in our case we are having three wires in one side two wires in one side so here they are giving different part numbers so as per our need we have to check the part number we have to take up the part number now where we will get the detail we have to refer SWPM so what we will do we will go in SWPM in SWPM we will go in front matter now this is the front matter of our SWPM we will just search for our part number which is delta dash 436 dash 36 so you can see over here we got the reference delta 436 3738 whatever we need we will just check this SWPM chapter so our chapter is 20 30 12 and open SWPM we will go in specific chapter which is 20 30 12 assembly of splice so now you can see we have come to specific chapter in this we have to again search for our splice which is delta 436-36 now as per our need we have to take our so as per the need we will take our splice you can see 363738 here it is saying but splice 1 to 2 wire 1 to 5 wire refer to paragraph 7i so we have 5 wires we will go to paragraph 7i it is hyperlinked and here you can see the procedure the part number is already we got the procedure uh, and uh, this is the gauge of the wire the conductor uh, so this is the procedure how we have to insert the wire how to do shrink, heat shrink how much length we have to cut so you can get uh, this is the way you have to get the SWPM for the specific uh, splice uh, part number and the installation procedure now to detail what we have to see is temperature grade where we are installing this sleeve okay the temperature grade class where you will get we will get in 20-00-11 okay the general data and wire dia outer dia we will get in 20-00-16 let me just show you quickly we'll go in swpm this 20 zero, zero, general data in 11 the material and part we will got we will get the uh, temperature grades okay as for the temperature what will be the grade and the wire outer dia we will get in dash 16 which is outer dia of the wire you can see over here okay as per the part number they have given us uh, the outer dia so these two detail we need to uh, take it while selecting our splice which is dash 36 dash 37 dash 38 whatever as per our need we will take up the part number and uh, the procedure of installation which is 20 13 12 so we completed our example we saw the wire part number we saw how to do the shielding part number of this uh, what material the heat shrink or the tape uh, we will get in this chapter and uh, how the part number for the splice and the installation procedure now let's get uh, to our example two for second example we will be taking this cable okay uh, contact number eight nine of uh, opposite side of our previous example and which is going to this uh, delta mic five two one two four okay uh, offering XF flight system so the bundle number will be this one whiskey 6276 the wire number will be 2002 this B bravo means blue and R means red okay there are two wires in a single cable which is shielded okay so this bravo and red you can go in front better and check out the color codes you will see B means blue and R means red so uh, I have prepared the same template over here okay all the details necessary details from where to where this cable is the bundle number the chapter all this is part one we have already seen in part one okay the context is eight and nine and uh, the shield uh, we will see uh, let us uh, remove our wire list first this is our wire list so we will search for our bundle number which is whiskey 6276 so here is our 6276 our wire number is 2002 so let us quickly find our wire So here is our wire 2002 okay now you can see there are three numbers 2002 blue red and Z Zulu means shielding okay it is of gauge 18 now the type code is R1 so I have written already written over here R1 which is type code which will we will help us for finding the part number for the cable and all necessary other details and uh, we were, one more thing what I want to show is this one here you can see on delta 5 to 1 to 4 it is dead end 
okay you can see from the diagram 5 to 1 to 4 the shielding is dead end and other side this shielding is connected to the ground okay this will be our example 3 so as of now we will not see this we will just concentrate on our wire part number i just want to show you that one so you can see the type code we got r1 and this jb is the family so all this three belongs to r1 jb 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 is the family this three thing belongs to r1 one single wire okay in example when we already saw what to do of this uh, dead end shield i will just show you the part number what details we are getting in this r1 so let me just quickly open the swpm 20-00 wire type code dash 13 wire type code we will search for our r1 okay so this is our r1 which is in boeing 777 this is the partial part number the number of conductor is 2 we saw in our diagram blue and red and it is shielded okay only this much i wanted to show you over here rest all the part number how to do it uh, we, we have already seen in part one so we complete our example two now let's get to our example three now for example three we will take this uh, shielding the wire grounding wire and this uh, gb that is grounding block okay so first let us check the wiring list for 2002 so here 2002 zulu it is uh, shielding okay and this fd uh, one side it is dd we already saw it it is a uh, dead end uh, splice this side now here it is fd what they mean by fd now you can see the wire is coming out from this splice and going to the grounding block fd is the ferrule and delta code is for uh, specification for identification of this ferrule where you will get this you will get this in front matter and you will search for uh, ferrule okay on this page the ferrule group you can read it over here the feral f code and this uh, in bracket they can change the code for identification okay and if it is jumper wire it will be f or uh, uh, fox romeo and so on okay this is the front matter detail so fd so i have made for example three i have made another template uh, rest all detail we have already seen it uh, we can refer to other part one or example one and two now this side i have written splice uh, and this is fd that means the feral this is the splice of wire 2002 okay and uh, now let us for this side uh, you can see in the di you can see in the diagram this side we have to refer to this wire number 0050 the bundle number is same but the wire number is changing okay so we just got detail of this side now let us go for 0050 same bundle so we'll just go up 0050 okay the bundle is 6276 and the wire number is 0050 so here you can see the papa alpha is the code for the wire uh, with this papa alpha we have to find the part number for the wire the specific wire which is uh, 13 feet and 11 inches this is the diagram okay this fd the same fd the code which we saw previously now the other side is gb12662 okay and uh, you can see over here i've written gb12662 dash sierra this is the grounding block item number okay and uh, the termination is sierra dot dot so i've written sierra dot dot now what is the sierra dot dot we'll again go in front matter and we'll search for sierra dot dot so you can see the definition sierra dot dot it is a static or shield or special ground so in our case it is shielding the shielding grounding okay you can see in the diagram it is shielding grounding and back to this it is number one the code is type is number one so i'll just write the type like a wire code type number one is the type code of the contact which will be going in this grounding block okay this is the contact part number contact code now we'll go in front matter again and then we will search for type code number one okay previously we saw number nine which was splice moisture seal in our example two now our is number one which is contact for terminal block and this is the part number so i'll just quickly write down over here now we got both the side now let us see the procedure for installation of this fd this cable how to attach with the splice with the shielding of this uh, the main cable 2002 okay so like previously what we did for dead end splice where we went we went in chapter 2010 which is installation of our swpm will go in swpm and chapter 20-10 the wire installation and repair procedure in that we'll go in sub chapter 15 assembly of shield ground okay so here there are many options previously we went in dead end shield now right now we already have a wire in our shielding this is separate wire okay which is connected to the shield so as per our condition we will go in assembly of shield ground wire without integral wire because we already have in, uh, the wire separate wire if you don't have wire in another case we will be going in 
with integral wire insulated integral or not insulated integral and these are the special case of sleeves uh, right now we will not go in that so we will go in solder sleeve without integral wire because we already have separate wire separate wire number so we will go in this and then it will give us all the detail the part number of the ferrule the part number of the tools which we want to use and each and everything with the diagram how much you have to cut from where we have to insert the wire okay you can see and you can go in detail for installation procedure for uh, the grounding wire which is uh, chapter 20-10-15 okay so i'll just quickly write down over here chapter and for other side now let us see we already got the contact part number now we find the part number for this grounding block and the installation procedure for this If we go in our wiring manual, WDM, they have given us grounding list. Okay, let me click on this grounding list quickly and we'll search for our grounding list which is GB12662. So you can see over here, there are so many bundles, so many wire number which will be going in this grounding block. And uh, what is this? This is the part number for this grounding block. Okay, so let me quickly write down. So right now I got the part number for the grounding block. I got the part number for the contact which will be inserted in this grounding block. Now what about the procedure? So for procedure we will refer our SWPM. Now for finding any procedure what we normally do. We will go in front matter. We will type part number. We will search for our part number. Sierra 2 N0 Whiskey 555-16. So in the content uh, it will search us and it will give us the chapter which we have to refer so 1 6 you can see your grounding module the chapter is 20 90 15 so let me write down over here as the 20 90 15 okay for everything so let us quickly open that 20 90 15 20 90 and 15 this is the sub chapter this assembly of this module okay so it will give us each and every detail how to install how to insert the cable uh, the you can see the part number now our is 16 which is grounding module with size 14 contact cavity okay so you can come down it will give us the detailed diagram also see this is the grounding module what we saw and it will give us each and every detail how to insert it how to remove it uh, we the removal tool the inserter tool this is the contact part number which we already got with this we complete our example 3 and also part 2 of our video if you like the video please hit the like button and if you have any doubt any query you can write in the comment below or you can message me on instagram or facebook thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notification